गाइज अफसाब वेलकम वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो एंड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ लिविंग इन जापान एज अ फॉरनर एंड एज अ इंडियन सो पीपल हैव बीन आस्किंग मी अबाउट कल्चर शॉक दैट एव एक्सपीरियंस इन जापान हाउ इज जापान डिफरेंट फ्राम इंडिया एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो आई बिन लिविंग इन जापान फॉर मोर दैन अ यूर नाउ सो आई थॉट लाइक वाई नॉट मेक अ वीडियो डिस्क्राइबिंग ऑल सो लेट्स गेट इन टू इट so at first i want to address the weather uh, so currently it's summer here and uh, people ask me like is uh, summer in japan is harsh for you being an indian because uh, summer in india are like terrible uh, so here in japan the maximum temperature will range around uh, like 32 33 or like 36 degrees celsius uh, not more than 40 i think uh, so people might think like uh, if you come from india if you see temperature around like above 40 degree celsius like every day during summer so it must not be that harsh but it's not true it's a misconception summer in japan is equally unbearable cause it's very humid it's very humid uh, and even the temperature is like um, 32 or 33 degree celsius it feels like burning and suffocating uh, which is very unbearable and so yeah summer here are equally bad very bad and the summer time here like it gets very hot around july like right now and august i think those are the most hottest month in japan and the summer like the heat strokes are also very common so somewhere in japan is equally harsh even if you are from a tropical country uh, like country like india where you have like very hot summer so next i want to talk about racism uh, is there any racism in japan or not uh, so personally i have never experienced it so i cannot comment much about it but uh, you can see like japanese people not approaching the foreigners or being hesitant to talk to foreigners this can be because of various reason they might not be confident in their english or uh, they like not used to see foreigners there and uh, yeah various reasons and you can also see in public transport if there is a foreigner sitting in, in the train or bus uh, the japanese person might not sit next to it and like avoid sitting there even if the seat is uh, like uh, empty and whole train or bus is crowded they would preferably stand rather than sitting so yeah this can get, you can see this things but other than that i've never personally experienced any racism or anything so yeah this is all i can comment about it as i've mentioned like it's quite uh, hesitant and hard for japanese people to approach a foreigner uh, because they are hesitant to talk to a foreigner especially for an older generation but there's a quite exception to it as well because i have also experienced uh, some random oji san and oba san which is like grandma and grandpa in japanese while uh, doing like while sightseeing or like taking a walk or even the standing for my bus uh, they randomly strike a conversation and yeah if <laughs> they try to uh, talk to me in japanese or like the little english they know and i talk to them in little japanese that i know and i think that's very sweet and kind for them and yeah that's those conversation are really like memorable and sweet so yeah things like that do happen and uh, it's nice to cherish them so you might have already heard about the discipline of japan like japan is famous for its discipline and the punctuality so yeah it's true like uh, you will never find a train being or a bus being late in japan even if it's late they'll like uh, give a apology and a formal apology or something to it and yeah everything in japan is on time if the bus leaves on like 3:10 pm it will 
always live on 3 10 pm it will never go on 3 11 or like 3 9 it's like on time even if you have meeting in japan you have to be so much like precisely on time you have to reach there on time uh, because they value their time and punctuality a lot so yeah it's a good thing and but they do also have a lot of rules that we have to follow like uh, rules for everything you have different rules for like throwing separating garbage sorting out garbage and uh, very different rules for everything sometimes it can be a quite a hassle to keep track of everything but uh, you can get used to it once you like start living here once you have enough time living here so yeah that's that's one thing so next i want to mention about the experience with food in japan this is especially if you are a vegetarian uh, so it's going to be quite a difficulty for you to survive in japan if you are a vegetarian and you don't know how to cook so it's better that you learn how to cook if you are moving to japan and uh, yeah because they don't have much of uh, vegetarian options available they have like fish or chicken or meat and everything so it's quite a uh, difficult for a vegetarian or vegan person to move here because the vegan options are very expensive so yeah it's uh, you can save a lot of money if you know how to cook the japanese people are known for their helpfulness and kind nature and i think it's true to quite a lot of extent Uh, so i remember when i moved to japan and i had like no internet uh, for few days and with my i had to navigate with my bad japanese skill like zero to no japanese skill uh, it was quite difficult to know like where to go which bus to take which train to take and how to move to this place to that place uh, so i asked quite a lot of people about the directions and i remember whenever like this happened to me whenever i asked for them to the direction uh, they always uh, dropped me to the location or the train station or the bus stop and they, like waited there uh, for the bus to come and uh, yeah they made sure that i took the right bus and uh, yeah i was on the right way so yeah whenever i ask them they will drop me off to the that place so one of the major struggle or issue that i would like to mention is uh, uh, loneliness uh, so people have asked me like is living in japan is lonely or not so i think it's true to very extent as well it is lonely japan might seem very flashy and kawaii from outside but deep down it's like uh, living here can be very lonely if you come from uh, a cloud country yeah it can because japan is quite a introverted country the system here is everything is like very you have to be by your own all the time so you have to be very independent to do things and yeah and i also think like it's quite hard to break into the shells uh, of for japanese people and like be a close friends for them even if you speak good japanese i've known people like my friends foreign friends who speak uh, very nice japanese they are living here in japan for many years and they like adapted japanese cultures and all but still they find it hard to like be friend with japanese people on like you know closer level so you can be friends with japanese people they are very nice to you they will hang out with you but it's quite hard to make them like truly a close friend i think yeah even uh, even i think Japanese people are used to it like having to do everything by their own they even the culture is uh, designed like that you go to ramen shops they have uh, or sushi shops they have seating uh, places uh, where it's like separate booth for every person so you don't have to interact to the other person so everything is designed in very introverted way and uh, yeah not much of deep level of 
interaction or things like that so as a foreigner it can be uh, quite difficult to like break the shell uh, so yeah it can get lonely for foreigners here in the end i just want to include a little appreciation note for everyone who has moved out of their country their city or state basically moved out of their house for living studying or work i think you deserve to be proud of yourself because moving out of your comfort zone your home is not quite an easy task and surviving in a new environment and adapting in a new environment takes a lot of time and effort and energy so yeah i just want to say that all of us are doing great and uh, yeah we should be proud of ourselves and give us a, like give ourselves a little pat on our back cuz we deserve it